As you can tell by the title of this video, this will be a video about the two guys with 200 wins, Kyle Busch, Richard Petty, because everyone's talking about it. So let's let's go for it. I said it's hard to compare, but we're going to compare it, obviously. Uh, just compare some numbers, some other factors, but I'm not, I will not declare if one is better than the other. I think they are both very impressive, very respectable. I'm just showing what they are, throwing some numbers out there, throwing some competitive stuff out there. It's a lot of numbers, let's just say it that way. So starting off, we have Richard Petty and Kyle Busch. Richard Petty raced from 1958 to 1992. Kyle Busch raced from, has raced from 2003 to 2019. Uh, those are the Cup Series years that I saw. Uh, Bush did not actually race in 2003. For some reason on the list I was looking at, I had him in 2003. But he has raced 15 full-time years. So, yeah. Uh, Petty, he has had years where there have been 52 races, 55 races, 62 races. Uh, an example, he had 14 wins in 55 races that year. He only started 54 of those races. I say only, but... You get my point. That is a 25% winning percentage. So he won 25% of the races that year. So, obviously, Petty had a lot of more races. Another thing, in his 200 cup wins, he had 1,184 starts for 16.9% winning percentage. So, Petty, over 1,000 starts, 200 wins, and that ends up being 17% winning. So... He's obviously had a lot of starts with those 200 wins, which could factor in. Uh, obviously, 200 wins is impressive no matter how you do it, but he did have a lot of starts to do it, over 1,000, 1,184 to be exact. So obviously, yeah. His last one was in 1984. He raced up until 1992 full-time. Um, it ended up going down to 29 races a year by that point. And yeah, that's basically all I got for Petty right there. For Kyle Busch, I got a little bit more because he's in three different series. Petty did have different wins in uh, the Convertible series and the K&N series. I think he had four or five in those two series combined. But yeah, Kyle Busch in his Cup series, he has 503 starts, 53 career Cup wins. That equals a 10.5% winning percentage, so 11%. Uh, he's got one championship compared to Petty's seven championships. Uh, there's the, he did not he has not had a fluctuation of how many races per year like Petty's fit 29 to 62. Every single year that Bush has been in the Cup Series, there have been 36 races as of now. That could change in the future, obviously. Um, but as of now, 36 races. An example of a season, he had eight wins one season. Uh, eight wins to 36 races, that's 22% winning percentage. Just a random example. Uh, Xfinity, he has 94 wins to 348 starts. That is a grand total of 27% for winning percentage. Truck Series, 53 wins to 147 races. That is a grand total of 36% winning percentage. So in total, Kyle Busch has made 998 starts, has 200 wins for a 20% winning percentage. So Kyle Busch got his 200 wins in less starts, but he did it in three separate series versus Petty. Petty did it in one series, the biggest series, the Cup Series. So that's just something to look at there. Uh, Petty obviously only raced till 1984, or not raced to, but he was only he won up to 1984. I don't know any other way to state it. Kyle Busch is still racing, obviously, still in his prime, still winning. Um, he's obviously still a favorite for a championship this year. So he is still going on, still racking up wins. So it's hard to say as of now whether all this is just as of now it's the appropriate time, the mood right now, what everyone's talking about. So that's what we are right now. That's why I'm talking about this, just comparing some numbers. Uh, competition standpoint, uh, it's a competition that Richard Petty had. He had David Pearson, Dale Earnhardt, Daryl Waltrip, Fireball Roberts, Bobby Allison, AJ Foyt, and Kale Yarbrough. That's just a few examples I could come up with. Uh, champions, Yarbrough. Uh, had some championships. He had three consecutive. Earnhardt, we all know what he's done. He had seven championships. Obviously, some of those were not during Richard Petty's career. Uh, Pearson, um, Fireball Roberts, Daryl Waltrip, I mean, Bobby Allison, all those guys I named. They got wins. They got championships. So, obviously, he obviously he had some tough competition there. There Another thing that factors into this, back in Petty's time, they did not have as many rule restrictions as they do today. Today, they have all these technological inspections, these very detailed inspections of cars, engines, uh, body, whatever you want, uh, and they can go down to the, just a little tiny millimeter, 
And if you're like 0. 0.0007 off or 0. 0.00001 off of millimeters off, it can end up being a major penalty. They did not have that back then, and they have it now. So I don't know if that's a factor. Obviously, there haven't been any big wins taken away this year. That will be a factor, but just another random thing. So Petty could have had a car that was insanely illegal if, like, there's restrictions today. He could have been, like, 10 inches off or something or, like, 200 horsepower more. I don't know. That's, I'm just throwing numbers out there. But, yeah. Some competition that Kyle Busch has had. Jimmy Johnson, Jeff Gordon, Tony Stewart, Brad Keselowski, Kevin Harvick, Matt Kenseth, Martin Truex Jr. All champions. Obviously, Jimmy Johnson, a seven-time champion. Jeff Gordon, a four-time champion. Gordon, 93 wins. Johnson has 83 as of now. Stewart, he had over 50 wins. Two, no, three championships. Uh, Keselowski, still racing Harvick, still racing Kenseth. He had over 40 wins in the championship. And Truex is still racing. So you got a lot of guys that win races, uh, championships. Hamlin is also on that list, but he does not have a championship, but he does have over 30 wins. So obviously both guys with pretty pretty stacked competition, obviously. But yeah, so that's what I got for my notes. Just want to make a quick little video today. Uh, schedule for the rest of the week for this week. What's today? Tuesday. Um, let me check this thing. Today's Tuesday. Yep. All right, Tuesday. We got this video. Thursday will be the race preview for Martinsville. And that video I made on Jeff Gordon, the heartbreaker video, uh, I'm going to start doing that appropriate to race time. So this weekend is Martinsville, so I'll have one for Martinsville, a driver that should have won at Martinsville. That will be released at Saturday, uh, probably Saturday early afternoon or late morning. I haven't determined the time yet, but you will figure that out. Friday, I will upload it, and it will be premiering for Saturday. So it will be up there and say premiering at this time. So tune in, get your notification for that. Um, really looking forward. I'm starting that right after this video because it takes a while to make. So I got to chop it up into bits and pieces to make for time-wise. But yeah, thank you for watching this video. Um, speaking of, there's a Jeff Gordon one. AAA Texas 500. Heartbreaking. That makes me sad still. Uh, some other video. Me talking about Kyle Busch's 200th win. We'll put that there. So yeah, you should click on that. Just go. And then uh, my face. Click on it to subscribe. That's all I got for you today.